For the Queen. This is a card-based storytelling game, so if you like uh, RPGs and storytelling games in general, uh, I think you'll enjoy this. It's, uh, it's fun. It's got a bunch of cards here. I'll show you them in a minute. And uh, it was designed by Alex Roberts, and I saw uh, an entire playthrough of this game with Alex Roberts uh, on YouTube, so you can you can find that. Uh, I watched it, I enjoyed it. But as I post this video, I'm also going to put, I, I broke the rules, but I'm going to post a little mini uh, solitaire um, playthrough of this. Uh, it's, it's very quick, just to give you a feel of it. Um, I've played this a few times and I enjoy it. You gotta get together, it's from uh, two to six players, and you have to get together with your group, uh, a group who's willing to be creative and, um, and uh, start a storytelling journey. Um, you don't need to create characters, uh, you don't need to create a setting. Uh, those things are gonna come out organically as the game progresses. Now, in the, uh, in the beginning, the rules are supposed to be read aloud in these cards here, and I'll just read the first couple of ones. Uh, the land you live in has been at war for as long as any of you have been alive. The queen has decided to undertake a long and perilous journey to broker an alliance with a distant power, and the queen has chosen all of you and no one else to be her retinue and accompany her on this journey. And then there's more information there, but that's uh, basically the spark that gets things going. So the game comes with a bunch of queens. Uh, when I play this, I like to take a queen at random. The instructions uh, kind of suggest you just choose one with your group. I'm gonna show you some of this art. Uh, it's very nice. Um, these queens were done by different uh, artists. And, um, you know, it kind of sparks the imagination. That's kind of like why I like to just pull one out at random. Um, because as soon as you see the queen, it kind of uh, gets the, the wheels turning. There's the evil queen, I guess. Uh, but really nice art done by different artists. And it comes with all of those queens. And then you have uh, a... a a big deck of cards with a bunch of uh, questions and prompts that'll get your 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 journey going and get your storytelling uh, engine uh, functioning and uh, the last card is this one here the queen is under attack uh, do you defend her this is the last card so if you want to play uh, a half hour game you shuffle all these cards and you throw that card in uh, about halfway through. If you want a longer game, you put that card in towards the bottom. That'll be maybe an hour long game. Um, what I did notice is that there are just a couple of cards here and, and you have an option uh, in the instructions, uh, it does explain this, to not answer a question, right? And in these two particular cards, uh, it kind of they contradict each other. But I, from what I've seen, it's mainly it's just just these two, and I'll show you these in a second. But if you don't want to answer a question, or if you think the question is not uh, right for you, you can just uh, pass this on to to another player. You can just say, "Hmm, I'd like you to answer this question," and hand them the card. And I guess uh, once they answer the question, you can then take your turn again. Uh, you know, you, it's flexible. You can uh, work with your group however you want. But this card, for instance. So let's say I'm playing a two-player game, and I get this card, and this card says, You are considered ugly by almost everyone you meet. How does the queen make you question that perception? So then a couple of turns later, I could get this card, which says, You are considered beautiful by almost everyone you meet. How does the queen make you question that perception? So in this case, had I gotten the first card first, if I had gotten this card, I might, uh, or I would, pass this on to somebody else. I'd say, I want you to answer this question, and, and then I would take my turn after that again. Um, so that's uh, pretty much, well, like I said, uh, you, you get, get a, a big pack of cards uh, with a bunch of questions. For instance, uh, you suspect this journey isn't just about diplomatic negotiations. What else do you believe is going on and why? So the cards are pretty cool. It gives you a lot of uh, a lot of options. Uh, storytelling game, card-based game. Um, if you run to RPGs and, and you got a creative group or you feel like being creative, you can tell a funny story. Um, well, a lot of stories actually. Sometimes uh, they will be funny. Uh, they'll be uh, you know heart-wrenching, uh, emotional. But uh, you 
once you take control of this deck, you and your group will tell your story for the Queen.